My primary reason for going to Croatia was for some dental surgery, but this particular episode is all my other stuff. Misadventures in Croatia. Croatia used to be part of Yugoslavia, but now it's independent, and it's only been independent since 1991. Did I just leave a camera on the flight? Yes, I did. But I remembered just in time because I'm a genius. Croatia. My plan was to visit the seaside whilst in Croatia and it's raining. Come on, lightning. <laughs> I wasn't even going to bring a raincoat. I'm glad I did. I'm going to go and find the beach. So I made it to Opatica, which is um, on the coastline up towards the north in Croatia, um, the other end of the country from Split. And uh, it's, it's very nice, it's very quaint, and it's raining. But I'm going to get out and walk around the marina. This is my first time putting my finger into the Mediterranean for about 40 years. Even when the silly COVID-19 thing lifts, England's going to be devastated. A lot of people died, and then right on top of that, we've got stupid Brexit. So, honestly, I'm not going to get any work. I could struggle and try and try, but I think I'd be just wasting my time. The lady said, we're quite an expensive marina, and they are actually a little bit cheaper than what I pay, what I pay right now in Bray and there's boats the same size that's the same size as mine that's a little bit bigger that's a lot bigger and um, and they have no problem with anyone living on board I know people are always bitching about Airbnb and stuff but I love it I get into town I, I don't know where I'm gonna stay or even if I'm gonna stay I don't want the hassle of a hotel, so I just go on Airbnb and a minute later I've got a room and it's just over there somewhere. Congrats, I'm confirmed. The path from my car to my room is kind of funny. See if my camera is waterproof and whether I can swim. I used to be a good swimmer, but I'm way out of practice. I did a really stupid thing. I dropped the camera. I didn't exactly drop it, I placed it on the bottom. Hoping it would be a nice shot of me swimming over it. Swam over it, turned back, couldn't find the camera. So I've had to go about eight kilometers up the coast to buy some goggles to go back and retrieve the camera. 
and it's unusual that a rock on the bottom of the ocean that's been there for a thousand years moved just when I put a camera on it, but it did. I'm trying to rent one of these, like they're little cute electric bikes, which is a fantastic idea. And here's the little station. Here are the instructions. I just kept pushing the buttons and then eventually one of the bikes just went click and then, and then came free. So it only took 25 minutes. steep and even on first gear it just doesn't go up the hill this might have been a really bad idea because this is not really an electric bike it's a pedal assist bike and I just rode down a massive hill and there's no way I can ride this bike back up that hill and oh man This is the stupidest bike idea ever. It's almost impossible to get the bike in the first place. Once you got it, it's almost out of juice and it was full up. And I'm at the bottom of a fucking hill. What a dumb idea this was. <laughs> this is probably the worst engineered startup I've ever seen in my life. It's almost impossible to rent them. I mean, the whole rack was full of bikes, so no one's rented these things. And the, it's quite busy down there. And then there, there are stations at the top of the hill, and, and that's downhill a long way, and the bike isn't capable of going back up the hill. So they're just coming down with a bunch of bikes left up the bottom and a bunch of pissed off people who have to walk back up the hill, including me. a little probably 250 watt motor at the front and it ain't doing shit so that was um that was like that was a workout i'm telling you and i, I mean i don't mind it's kind of funny because out of this covid thing i've literally not done any exercise for five months now i i stopped walking because i just i couldn't be bothered and um so that was a real good workout. I enjoyed the workout. Thanks, Electro Kirk, um, for the workout. But your bicycle, your bicycle sucks. I would just like to add that riding up that hill, the temperature is 30 degrees centigrade, which is quite a lot of Fahrenheit. <laughs> This is the uh, marina in a little, a little town just south of where I was staying that I'm not even going to try and pronounce. Um, the Croatian language is, is quite nice to listen to, but it's lots of K's and V's and J's and more V's. <laughs> and I swear I just went through a little town that was all K's, V's, J's, P's and maybe an I. The original reason I came to Croatia was to get some dental work done, which is going great. Um, it's quite a long, complicated procedure, and I'll talk about that some other time. But um, it's just, it's really nice here. And I don't like the idea of being stuck in the marina in Bray over another winter. That's just silly. You have a boat, you're going to use it. 
the water level goes so high that you can't get the boats under the bridge that leads to the marina. So, I, I'm going to move, but I don't know quite where. And, I mean, look, it, it, it's nice and everyone's super friendly. And it's, it's cheaper than, way cheaper than, than England, about half the price. And, I mean, just, just going out and eating is, is half the price, or less. And um, I, I like that. So I am strongly considering a big move, which always was the plan. But I think COVID kind of just, I don't know, checked everyone's head for a little while. Just waking up this morning, had a very nice um, coffee and omelet at the local um, bar place that I found yesterday that turned into a hotel, which was nice. The walls were a little bit thin, but uh, it was comfortable. And I really just needed to recharge everything. When you're, if you're a filmmaker or anything like that, and you're traveling, your one big concern is just getting everything charged. It's amazing how much power you use with cameras, phones, computers, drones, whatever. So, yeah, just to have, like, clean AC power as opposed to trying to plug everything into your car. Or I haven't really got that down yet. I need to buy a few more um, gadgety things to make that happen. But uh, that's good. Anyway, very nice omelette this morning. Today I'm going to go... I'm going to go that way. Um, to the island of Kirk. K-R-K. And have a look around there. There's some marinas there. There's some caves there. There's some stuff. And then tonight, I'm going to drive back to Zagreb. And, um, and then dentist in the morning. And then a few more days of dentist. Just light stuff, though. We, we've done all the, all the really like intense hard work at least I really hope we've done all the intense hard work because it is it's fucking traumatic it really is um, I mean it's it's basically open mouth surgery it's like they are doing so much stuff inside your mouth and and it's gonna look good and you're awake during the surgery so that that's and, and it's right in front of everybody. It's the first thing anyone sees about you. So the work that they're doing has to be magnificent. And it has to not hurt whilst they're doing it because you're right there looking them in the eye. So I'd not really thought about that before. But man, they, they did a great job. They, they're continuously impressed by these people. Super nice, super friendly, super communicative. And it's not fun, but if I get this all over done, all, sorry, if I get this um, all done within a few days, then it's like the rest of my life taken care of as far as dentistry is concerned, which is, the, that's what matters. Right over there is Bakar. Uh, it's a little uh, old town and there's a bunch of port stuff there where they export and import um, probably coal um, and mineral stuff. That's what it looks like. That's where I dropped the camera, over there. But I got it back, so yay. Stupid painting. Let's get back in the car and go for a little adventure. I really wish flying, flying my little drone it wasn't as scary as it is, but every time I fly it, I'm like, ah, oh, I'm never gonna see you again. I mean, I've lost one, and I've had that one actually crash before, so like two uncontrollable crashes. I don't know. Today will be good though, won't it? Yeah, right? And then when I land, I'm like, that was easy, but it's still scary. We've got these very loud bugs here. Oh. <laughs> yep, 
is shy. That's the mainland there, and you go across that bridge, and then you're on Kirk. Uh, looks like there's a little marina down there. It doesn't have any vehicular access, it's just boats, which is kind of cute. That's a cave bear. Um, apparently they lived all over Europe, but they only lived in caves. And that was 300,000 years ago. And they went extinct 20,000 years ago, right around the last ice age. And they used to live in this, this cave we're about to go into. It's a pretty big, uh, pretty big bear. Looks a little upset over there. They, they like that Croatian music, which is great, but it's kind of funny because the restaurant is, is somewhat empty apart from me, and yet there's some loud Croatian music playing. It doesn't suck, but it's kind of funny. It's another nice little marina, but this one takes bigger boats, which is a little interesting. And you can moor out there and then you just get a dinghy in when you want to come ashore. Here's a nice little spot. Uh, these are known as Mediterranean berths where they, they back in or come in forward. But they're not parked alongside, it's all like neatly stacked up. But it's a, a specific thing that happens in the Mediterranean. The car I ended up renting is a Mini and it, it drives very nicely. But it's fucking irritating because, like, I've stopped, I've taken the seatbelt off, and they're telling me, like, you've got to wear a seatbelt. It's like if I plug this back in, see, it stops. But I've already stopped. And it, the seatbelt warning comes on. And then, here was my funny thing, it, it doesn't have a real fuel gauge, you know empty full it's got this weird little digital meter thing that you can alter what that tells you by pushing some buttons down there and whilst I was in that little village over there <clears throat> I pushed on some buttons and it said range two kilometers and I'm like I'm at least 15 from the nearest gas station so I'm like what the fuck nothing warned me that I was running out of out of fuel a funny tone came on. Oh. Oh. Again, like another little beeping noise because a lady parked next to me. I couldn't even work out how to turn the fucking radio on because everything's controlled by this little button down here and this little thing up here. And, and it's like, you've got to push, it's like it was designed by a, a, a 14 year old on LSD. End of rant. Basically, Croatia, along the coast, is just marina after marina after marina after marina. And it's great, they're all nice little, little marinas here, tucked away. And... and there's always a bar, just over there. What is not to love? Today we're going on a little adventure to see some museums. And after a brief 10 minute walk, I'm here at Svetsky Kraljevic station.
And just for reference, that uh, train ride took about 20 minutes, it was about 30 kilometers, and it cost about one pound. Vojnia Gore. I was a little bit disappointing. It was still mostly closed because of the, the COVID, but um, they didn't charge me anything to look around anyway, so it was okay. This is the sensible way you combine a sidewalk with, with a bicycle lane. It's like bicycles go here, people go here. This is a very sensible country. I picked rather a warm day to walk around Zagreb, but there's, there's nice little air-conditioned cafes and shops and things to go into, but I don't know, it's about 90 today, 90 Fahrenheit, uh, 28 Celsius, warm. This is an amusing little place. It's called the Museum of Broken Relationships. People send them stuff and the relevant story and they put it on display with the story on the wall next to it. So I'm just going up, up there to visit the Museum of Mushrooms. Uh, is uh, deadly uh, for example that one Amanita phalloides which is most deadly mushroom in the world yeah I will show you later then we have uh, poisons which means uh, you will be poisoned if you eat enough but maybe not die maybe uh, uh, some changes in your in your uh, uh, body or some, something else. And then you have not tasty, then you have edible, and the, finally, this medicine mushrooms, yeah. Med medicine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah medicine. <laughs> was interesting and funny and very typically Croatian because I showed up here and it looks completely closed there's no one around and I go try and open the door nothing and I push this bell and it rings this deep like ding dong like way back at it. and then like 10 seconds later this man comes to the door and he he opens it up and he gives me a tour of the complete museum just for me. Um, <laughs> really good, interesting stuff.
Oh, mm. That's a double. That's a triple, actually. Yeah, I, I forgot to play this kind of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would mean, for... that means it's 36 points. Yeah, okay, I know that, so. yeah, something's multiplying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did good. <laughs> Transportation around here is really easy. It's nice. Um, you just Google where you want to go and it tells you how to get there and the public transportation takes you there. And it's cheap and easy and clean. It's just nice. But um, I've had a really good time here. I like Croatia a lot. And uh, I'll be back here soon. I managed to drop my passport and boarding pass somewhere at the departure lounge and fortunately it got found, picked up and taken to the gate. I stepped into the first class area of the train, which has got nice sort of pinkish lighting. 